Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about Tunisian crochet, specifically the double crochet stitch because that is my favorite stitch. In other videos, I will go over the single and the half double. I'm not an expert with Tunisian crochet. I'm very intermediate, um, but I do love it because it gives a knit-like look without knitting. I cannot knit. I tried and I tried and I tried and I gave up. I cannot hold two knitting needles with the yarn and all the different stitches. I just, everything was coming apart on me. So I was like, forget it. I love crochet. I just going to stick with it. And then I saw a video on YouTube for the Tunisian crochet and I was like, that is beautiful. So I went and I bought the the Afghan hook slash Tunisian crochet hook. Um, and that's the only thing extra that I needed was this, this hook. You can make baby blankets, you can make scarves, you can make hats, you know, mittens, you can do a lot of things, socks, and everything will have somewhat of a knit-like look, again, without knitting. So I went ahead and I made this sample of what the Tunisian double crochet stitch looks like. I think it is very pretty. I love this particular stitch because it gives it kind of a drapey look to it. The stitches aren't super tight, um, but I just, I love it. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to do the Tunisian double crochet stitch. So I'm going to grab a different yarn here. All right, and same thing with crochet. You're going to start out with your slip knot. You get underneath the first strand, grab that second strand, pull it through, turn your fingers, and pull tight. And I'm going to chain, I'm just going to chain 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, well, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Sorry, I'm still kind of nervous making these videos, so forgive me for the mistakes that I, that I make along the way. It's, it's a learning experience for me. Okay, so to do the Tunisian double crochet stitch, just like crochet, you start in the fourth chain from the hook. Never count the loop on your hook. Count back one, two, three, and four. So you're gonna yarn over, go into your stitch, grab your yarn and pull through. You have three loops on your hook. In a Tunisian crochet, you yarn over, pull through two, you stop and you leave that on your hook. So essentially, I do have two Tunisian double crochet stitches. Again, yarn over, go into your chain, grab your yarn, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, and you stop. You have three loops on your hook, you have three stitches. Again, yarn over, go into your stitch or chain, grab your yarn and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Four loops on your hook, four double crochet stitches. Yarn over, go into your chain, grab your yarn and pull it through. Yarn over, pull through two and stop. You have five loops on your hook. You have five double crochet stitches. Again, yarn over, go into your chain, grab your yarn, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, and stop. Yarn over, go into your chain, grab your yarn and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, Stop and leave that last loop on the hook. Again, yarn over, go into your chain, grab your yarn and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, 
and stop. This is also what's called your forward pass because you're going forward. And then I'm gonna show you the reverse pass once I get to the end of the row. So yarn over, go into your chain, grab your yarn and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, and stop. Have one left. Yarn over, go into your chain, grab your yarn and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, and stop. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So essentially, I have ten loops on the hook. I have ten. Tunisian double crochet stitches. Okay, so to start your next row, or to get back to where you can start your next row, you're gonna do your reverse pass. So with the reverse pass in double crochet, you're gonna chain one, and that gets it to the height that it needs to be. You're gonna yarn over, and you're gonna pull through two. Yarn over, 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 pull through two. And you just keep repeating that until you are at the end of your row. And there you have your double crochet row which is your forward pass. And then here's where you have done your reverse pass and it's setting you up for your next row. So for your next row, you're gonna chain one. That builds the height of your stitches. And then you'll see these bars here. This is where you're gonna work. This is where I like to put my um, stitches um, but you can actually put them in between the bars. But my preference is to go in behind this bar right here. So to get started, like I said, you've chained your one. You're not going to go into this very first bar because that's your edge and your work will come apart. You're going to go into your second one right here. So you're going to... Yarn over, go behind that bar, grab your yarn and pull it through. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over, go behind that bar, grab your yarn and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over, go in behind that bar, grab your yarn, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, go in behind your bar, grab your yarn and pull it through, yarn over, pull through two. And you just keep going until you're at the end of your row. And I am trying to go slow here. So yarn over, go behind that bar, grab your yarn and pull it through. Yarn over and pull through two. So I have three left, but you do something different when you get to the end of your this row and then every row to the end of your project. And I'll show you what you need to do once we get there. So here you go under your bar, grab your yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go behind the bar, grab your yarn and pull it through. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so here I am at the very last stitch. You're not gonna go in behind just this bar. If you turn just a little bit, you can see both these stitches right here. You have this stitch and this one. You're gonna go in behind both of those. So yarn over, go behind both bars, grab your yarn, pull through. 
yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so now we're back at where we're gonna do the reverse pass. Remember that was the forward pass. Now we're gonna do the reverse pass. So you're gonna chain one. Remember that's building the, it's to get to the height that you started right here. You're gonna yarn, and then you're gonna yarn over, pull through two. 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 And yarn over and pull through the last two. And that is your second Tunisian double crochet row. Okay, let's go over this one more time. Chain one to build the height of your next row. Yarn over, go in behind the second bar right here, not your first bar, but your second bar. Grab your yarn and pull it through. Yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over, go in behind your next bar. Grab your yarn and pull it through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, behind your bar, grab your yarn and pull it through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go in behind this bar, grab your yarn, pull it through. Yarn over, pull through two. Excuse me, I gotta get some more yarn here. Okay, yarn over, go in behind the bar, grab your yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, behind the bar, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two. Almost at the end, I have three left. So yarn over, Go behind the bar, grab your yarn, pull it through. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, here I am at the very end. Remember, you don't go in behind just this bar. You're gonna go in behind these two stitches. So yarn over. Go in behind both stitches, grab your yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two. And there you are at the end of your next row. Remember to chain one so that you're at the same height as when you started. Then yarn over, pull through two. We're doing the reverse pass. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then you just finish this all the way to the end of the row. And then there you have your Tunisian double crochet. All right, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching.